I guess. Rate my build. Hello everyone. Welcome to a rate my build or roast my build episode. This is the first one, hopefully not the last one. If you like this kind of content, share, share like, subscribe, the usual stuff. Uh, we've gathered here, me and Joe, to rate some PCs for the first time for me in public ever because rating PCs on Facebook doesn't count because no yeah, one's... You're just only nasty on Facebook. Yeah, so. no, no, no one says nice things on Facebook. Um, uh, we have divided this rating into five classes, so we will uh, have the builds rated between five the best, don't ever take it apart. Four would be almost perfect and we will say it's great success. Uh, then we have the middle class, which is like, it's not much, but it's yours. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty good, but you can keep it. Yeah. Four and five, we're taking it home, thanks. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. I addressed it down here. We have the second to last, which is not great, but not terrible. It's like, could could use some work. And then we have the, uh, the worst score is an F. Everyone press F and just get, get a console. Uh, that's basically it. B before we get into the builds, uh, this episode has brought to you by our sponsor, the Summer Sales by EK. Check out our shop. There are massive price drops and uh, a lot of interesting products on discounts, even hardware like the XFX GPU, the Carbon EK motherboards and a lot of other stuff. But later, more information. Rate my build. First build? First build. Let's get into the build. Yeah. So, great start. The first build is from someone we can't read their name. It was just a bunch of glyphs. Uh, but, okay. Instantly very interesting. This is going to take some time to process. Yeah. It's black. It's very black and, it, and that's nice. It doesn't have RGB. People nowadays hate RGB, so that's nice. But the fact that I don't like is the the eighty mil fans doing something o over there, just like hovering, kinda. Yeah. Yeah. No radiators, obviously external, which yeah, that, that's, that's fine. Okay. Ah, oh, but if you point it out, it's a bit of an overkill to have so much fans inside. Yeah, it's just really making uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and also thing I really don't like is that he has three brands of fans in there. So he has some Noctuas, which is not, not black. There are plenty of black 80 millimeter fans which, which could work in there. He has some thermal takes and he has a unknown black fan at, at the bottom. I mean, it's a big collection of stuff, yeah. but it's all good stuff. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I, I'm gonna have to say it, it's not much, but it's yours. Where are you at? It's not much, but it's yours. Next build. Okay, so here we do know the name. This is from Rory McGregor, and this is a 303K. Let's so, do that, that awesome. again. Device is ready to connect. So, into the second build. This one, we actually do know the name. This is from Rory McGregor, and it's an Inwin 303K, so instant brownie points there. Uh, looks to be purely EK, which is yeah? pretty sweet and a very nice color scheme. Uh, I'm still looking at it. I'm trying to find something that, that I don't like, but I'm having a hard time. I I see... Is that, is that active M2 cooling? Yes, it is. That's neat. That's a bit yeah. extra. And he's got yeah. two radiators in there, which huh? was actually a tough fit for the 303. He, he has some interesting light strips. I don't know if it's the EK light strips, the, uh, the uh, diffused ones or not, but they do look good. I really like it. Uh, nice cables. Too many comms. Wait, just too many comms. Yeah, yeah, a, a bit too many you comms. Need some discipline. But 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 if he likes comms, then then I I would say great success. I, I'm with you on that. Great success. Great success. Okay, okay. We're, we're going back here now from uh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> from from Claudio. Uh, Ouch. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean. I'm, I'm impressed. Two different radiators, a, a drive bay yeah, a drive with a bay. reservoir in it. 
I mean, just having a drive-by in a case and having a reservoir, that's something. Prehistoric. But it's SLI. With, yeah. with two different cards. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not. It's a GPU holder. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's GPU. Oh, it's... but that's three power connectors, which is a lot for that. That age of GPU. <sighs> Okay, that was a trick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got your trick. Uh, the biggest downside is the king coils. If you ask me, like, without the king coils, oh, 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 more negative points. He has the anti-sag for the GPU, but, but it sags. <laughs> Much. I want, I don't want to go too hard on him, so... It's going to be not great, not terrible, or or he should... If this is not great, not terrible, we're setting quite a standard for get a console. Yeah. Okay, let's slide, slide, but clean up the dust. Clean up the clean dust, Claudio. Claudio. Not, not great, great. Not, not terrible. terrible. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh. Yeah. I think yeah. this this one we, we found on our Discord. This is from uh, Jerome. Jerome. Yeah. And that's nice. Yep. That's nice. Very, very functional, very clean. Is that like a, a double-sided torrent? Yeah, he modded have it. The torrent? Oh. He, he modded it, he removed the entire internal parts, and I even said when I saw this beard the first time that the bottom part is a perfect spot for the upcoming EK 7-inch screen. We'll see what can we do about that. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Very nice. Are we gonna say that he keeps this for 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 ev ever? I yeah, just take it apart to fit the screen, but that's it. After mm. that, leave it forever. Jerome, don't, don't, don't take, take it, it apart, apart ever. ever. Straight to the top. Okay, another cute torrent. This is from from Pascal. We know Pascal quite well. Yeah. And that's a very cute little boy. But. We know one. There's not. There's some aluminium yeah, in there. Yeah. We know one thing about this build that that, <laughs> that he has an aluminium block on the GPU, which can go okay if you bump up the amount of uh, uh, anti corrosives in your loop. So. Yeah, and don't repetitively change yeah. the coolant because yeah. that, yeah. contrary to yeah. logic, makes it much worse. You're just speeding yeah. up the oxidization, but it looks good. It looks good. It does look good. What are we gonna do? Four or four or three or four four? Great great success. I'm I'm starting to regret our naming because it's kind of a great fail with the aluminium, but yeah. it belongs definitely in four. Okay. Solid great success. Great, great success. success. Okay, so I'm I'm struggling with that name, but Guillam? Maybe. Okay. Uh, little D frame. Very cute case, original D frame, not a D frame two, which for it's me is. It's a very nice case. I would still want best. one of these cases one day. He has a lot of brands going on in there, and a lot of rotaries going on in there. It's one. Wait a second. Device is ready to connect. So it's one, two. Two, oh, he doesn't have all the tubes yet. Five. Yeah, he has... He's using oh. some air tubing. And uh, it he, looks like it's going to be soft tubing, so why so many rotaries? He's using no tubes, so minus points for that. I'm a brand whore. Can I say whore on this show? I'm a brand <laughs> whore. Uh, I like everything from one brand, even if it's not EK. But he has a lot of branding going on. So one, two, three, four, five. Five, no, four, four. All of them. The flow meter is thermal take, I guess. And the GPU and the CPU are Corsair. It's all nice, but minus points. Minus points for not having tubes. Yeah, I think it could be made or broken with the tubes and the cables. Cables maybe could save it if it's this orange and blue scheme going on. Yeah. And the little baby Unify, that's a nice board. For now, I think it's not much, but it's yours. But yeah, maybe when it's completed, we'll check it again. It's not much, but it's yours. 
but you but can you still can mess, mess it up. up. Yeah, could go up or down. Rate my build. This is from Radish on EK Discord and some very nice new new Vector 2 in there. Great to see and a magnitude. This is nice for a white build. I'm generally not a, a white build fan. I'm still looking, the, the, the tubes are a bit... There's a bit, a bit soft and a bit hard tubes. I think that's, that's free Free bent hard tubing. Free bent hard tubes. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not a fan of free bent hard tubing. But he made it work, and I and, and I would say great success. Maybe if one day he would think about using the velocity and the VRM bridge, it would clean clean up the tubes a bit. But this is a magnitude. Yeah, I know it's a magnitude, but kind of better. It's a. It's it. It is better, but the, the tube runs. Kill it for me a bit. Well, I'm, a bit. Well, it's a nice combination of hardware. The, the magnetic yeah, actually yeah. sits yeah. well with the Vector 2. And 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 with the RAM. And the RAM's really yeah. working. Yeah. yeah. Good balance of light. It's not all bright in one place. Great success. Great success. Great success. Okay. So here's a little baby build from Kelvin Lee. Maybe it's not as baby as I thought. That's two 360s in there. So it's, it's fairly large. And uh I like it a lot. Wait, what board is that? He has a dual loop crosshair Cro 7. Yeah. He has a dual loop with two FLT 80s, right? No, they're FLT 120s. 120s. With DDC. That's, everything's very, very clean. Right. Yeah, oh, oh, it's, oh, it's sideways. Okay. FLT 1. 120 sideways so that the, the, the bottom ports are facing us. I would say that he should not take this apart. Uh, may, maybe a few fitting changes here and there. I see some old extenders there on the CPU block. Yeah, an extender just looks like the tube wasn't long enough. So he, he threw an extender out a bit. He can Make fix a new it. tube. Yeah, he, 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 he fixes it. I'm gonna say that if he fixes that, Extender, he should never take it apart. Uh, mm, Not there. Um, the cables also need to be uh, more stealthy. Oh yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't think that everyone in the world must have sleeve cables to make a magnificent build, but if you've not gone that route, and I think hide them as much as possible, and they're yeah. they're a bit on show there. Yeah, I'm gonna say then. He could make this very good, but at this time, it's just great success. Yeah. Great, great success. success. Fix the extender and the cables. Oof. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Ooh. No, ah. Another one from our Discord. This is from uh, NYC Darkness, and I think that's one of the best torrents that I've seen. So there's been a lot of torrents so far, but yeah, I think this is the small one. This is the, this is the compact, the baby torrent. And it does it for me a bit more than yeah. the double-sided one. It has a, an air-cooled GPU, so... But that is the best... Looking GPU. The best air-cooled GPU, yeah. it? and it yeah. works with the case. Yeah. So good. It does. He did a very nice paint job, right? Because that's not the stock color. Or? Yeah. No, no, yeah. definitely no blue ones. Yeah. 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 Straight to the top. Don't take it apart. Don't take it apart. Don't even upgrade no. it. It's Don't just touch right. It. We have just approved an air cool build. Wait. Turn off device. Are we doing this every time? It's best. Device is ready to connect. We'll fix it in post. Yeah. Fix everything in post. It's safer. One wow. thing one thing that we won't fix in post is Matthew Brown's build. What's um, up, Matthew? <laughs> what's <laughs> This is not even like old either, because there's some pretty new products from us, like the the Pro manifolds there. The, yeah. Not the, the last velocity, ball. but a pretty recent GPU block and CPU like block. There. You know, Matthew, we have some sick discounts. We will also 
sell some <laughs> fluid gaming PCs at a fairly good price. Actually, a very good price. Yeah. I'm gonna say uh, F. I mean, he doesn't need a good price. This is expensive stuff. Yeah, there's, he, a, there's a bench table, there's industrial noctuas. Yeah, sell it. He's not skimped, but... F. Ah, uh, F. 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 Just get the console. Or a fluid gaming PC. Ah! This is from Unitisty on Discord, and this is... A wine cooler! Oh no, it's a PC! <laughs> but, but, I mean, the thing that drew me in, this is another O11D. But it's really not. Oh! Because that, that's... In, I think in, that's an in, Evo. Inside the desk. Inside the desk. Nice. Uh, he has the EK uh, side distro, the G1. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, all the... La he already has the radiators. Oh, nice. This is, this is, Props. This is fresh. Props, yeah. And he managed to fit the distro, which is great. Yeah. Thanks. I don't uh, know... I guess, I guess when you take the feet, because you can take the feet off the Evo, it fits directly in a rack. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. This should be a feature. They should have a rack that slides on the ends. We should make a rack for the Evos because there's so much Evos on the world that you can just make server racks. You have two Evos. Let's, Evos on Evos. Let's, let's patent that. that. Um, uh, I'm interested in his temperatures, airflow, stuff like that, but I think it's a... Oh, it looks, I mean, it looks like he's opened up the sides of the, yeah, he did. Of the rack and there's, and, there's and, always and space back. there. Yeah. Uh, also impressive sync between the RGB on the case and the distro. Yep. I never managed that and my 11D builds from the Matrix show were just... On its own. On, on their own thing. Mm -hmm. Well done. Great success. Great Ord. success. I mean, he, he should... I... I would grade him higher because there's not much people that do this. Like, he really used his case in a unique way and made it work and looks nice. But I, it's hard to enjoy. Yeah, because as a, yeah. As a art piece, it's an amazing detail if you just noticed it, but you have to try. Yeah, like really uh, high props for like thinking outside of the box, but the build itself is. Great success. Maybe if we could see it, it was fantastic. Yeah. Maybe. Next. Okay, and this is from uh, Tim Woodworth, and great color scheme. Gorilla comes alive. I'm enjoying it, and good lighting. It's not burnt out with green lighting. It's nicely done with the white light. Yeah, it doesn't have any green light, just the white, and it makes the green pop a bit. It probably has a slight UV effect. Yeah, and the Vector 2. Vector 2, with active, set. active backplate. He made it work with the old di distro perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. Great success for sure. It's it's not, not a masterpiece, but it's very good. Very clean. Cables are good. Everything's great success. Yeah, room, room for more upgrades in the future. Yeah. Keep at it because it's... Uh, a nice build and a nice setup. Great, Great success, success Tim. Tim. Oh, why is this a heat killer? No RGB again, which is becoming a standard. We have had a discussion that now our web shop has the RGB logo on the RGB products and now we should just remove that and have no RGB. No for RGB, others. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like have a special logo for the products which don't have RGB. Then we'll be ahead of time. Anyway, Stealthy looking uh, build. Yeah, this is this is from Daniel Carson and a very black and gold. Very uh, different combination visually. Like nothing is black and nickel. He has really like uh, the fans for me are unknown. Yeah, but which, oh, which but, is but which, nice. Which yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice. Like not like everyone has to use the the mainstream stuff. I think we saw one of those fans in the first build. At Do you the remember bottom, back? We didn't. We at, thought at, it was a Vardaclan. I think it's one of those. I'm gonna say it's Bit Phoenix, but I might be wrong. If someone knows, write in the comments. My my fan game has loosened over the 
over the years. I would say great success. I like the car scheme a lot and I, I like this kind of eclectic mix of brands and finishes. I don't know. I mean, this works in a better way. For an 011 that looks completely unique. Yeah. And I would say don't take it apart. I like Ooh, it that much. That much? That much. It is, it's a different. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to let this slide and you have the score and I'll be the decider on the next one. Uh-oh. Don't take it apart. Joe says it. Never. Ah. Oh, here we ah. go. Another very serious looking build. This is from, ah. from Christopher Schmidt. And uh, that's 43090s. Apparently, serious. German Alpha Cool Red. I mean, makes sense. Alpha Cool uh, Combo. Mm, two radiators. Three, one in the back, Ted Dipper block, a lot of GPUs, nicely done. It's not a big power, there must be more power supplies. Yeah. Many there's more. A, there's probably one in the back. Many, put the big one in the front so we can see it. Yeah. Because 2000 watts isn't, Ooh, it, it's isn't a, cutting it. It's a gigabyte, so it might catch on fire. Wait. Oh, otherwise, it's pretty. Pretty clean, but not extra. It's... It's... <sighs> Are we disagreeing already? I don't know. I like it. I mean, I would say it's great success, but you want to be a step lower, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's not much, but I guess I owe you one. Okay. If you want to use it now. No. Oh. No, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna skip. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's not it's much, much, but it's but yours. Alright, this is Dale Barnes's 011. What could have been a very boring did I say boring? A very give boring. Me the, give me the word. Okay. Very boring <laughs> distro plate build with the same tubes as everyone else, but this is just completely different. Yeah. You've got to respect that, the work in those tubes. Yeah. To he, to, it could have just been straight, and that's wild. And they genuinely look really nicely formed, the way the GPU mirrors the top rad. That's good stuff. And 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 the way the tubes reflect the RGB. It, it's, it's yeah, very nice. It's almost not infuriating that it has rainbows. Yeah. yeah. I would say great success. Like, very great success. A very solid great success, and... If the cables did the same thing, and yeah, some of the some of the stuff got cleaned out from yeah. the back layer around the board, yeah, yeah, yep. this would be it would be done taking apart yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah, you can still fix it. Great success. Okay, I think this is I... probably one of the devices ready to connect. Sorry, I think this must be one of the most adventurous builds from from the list so far, and yeah. this is from Dante Motti. Lots of tubes. Lots Even tube tubes. Tube tubes and tube tubes. Yeah. They're all working. It's looking good. It's a masterpiece. Maybe. I mean, I, I guess we're looking at the back here. I'm not seeing any hardware. Or is that another piece to this? If it's on the opposite side, then it's sad that you can't get it all in one shot. You know. You don't have the whole view of the hardware and the cooling. Hardware yeah, so does. so here we, we would need more need more information about these tubes. Like, does any of them have any function, or they are just for the visual effect? I would say it's a don't take it apart ever if it's a working PC or or like if if there's function in in those tubes, but. Maybe we should just keep on scoring this machine for this episode and do it in the next one when we get more information. Because I would hate to give it a score and not fully understand of what's happening. Yeah, I agree. We, we kind of need to know about it. And definitely for me personally, like if steampunk themes are done just for the visual, I don't dig it. But if it's a genuinely mechanically interesting way of building yeah. the loop then it's yep. that's cool 
Let's come back next time. Next time. Rate my build. Ah. Ah. Now we're getting ah. some serious stuff. So this ah. is from Nicholas Roy and this some of his best work I've heard. Oh, nice. I mean, I'm not upset. I'm not upset by the air, air cooling. I mean, everyone was there. Even was it were they that wonky from factory, or has he put some kind of effort into making the air cool look? No, no, no. Extra derpy. This is a factory air cooler, and I and, and I actually like it. The only thing that he did is I think he stuck on the cooler master badge a, a bit sideways, maybe. Okay. But the air cooler is that chunky. And, and I actually do like it big because it it's it, it's a totally different air cooler from everything else on the market. But the LED strips, that's my problem. I mean, I I remember my first PC and I thought red LEDs were cool as well. <laughs> I yeah, yeah. I but, don't know why, but yeah, but I no. mean, in in my case, like everything was black, and then I put red LEDs in and ruined it by hiding the color scheme. But here, I think the red LEDs are probably burning away some mustard cables and nasty stuff. Yeah, but they are like... They're all probably not making it worse. All over the place. Oh yeah, that's hilarious. And... I would give him a console, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is what you wanted. <laughs> Sorry, Nicholas. F. F. Get the console. Oh, Ooh. I mean, int intrigued instantly. This is from George Edward Kalaitzis, and what a color scheme. Yeah, the color scheme is very impressive. I like the RGB scheme that he... I don't even know how did he get that working. What kind of software is he using? I mean, I think this is the right coolant and orange light. I think this is... A blue coolant with orange light, and that burns the edge of it to appear green, which is in some cases really case, cool. In some cases, it's orange. In some cases, it's green and yellow. And then it goes all the way through to blue. Yeah, that's that's nice. Very very good job on the uh, on the color scheme. I uh, I like the satin titanium fittings in there. I don't really understand the combination of the nickel tubes. Honestly, I would have went for black tubes. Would but it, it's kind of given it some contrast and some like interesting place to like drape these, these ZMTs through. And ZMT is always good. If he would have polished the sides of those radiators, then I would agree with the uh, nickel tubes. But the nickel tubes as themselves just have no place there. Mm. White PCB on the card also. Yes. Does it help? I don't know. It, sta it stands out in a way that a GPU normally wouldn't. I would stop at great success. Big props for the Apex and only having two memory Turn sticks. Yeah. You were saying? Uh, I was saying big props for the Apex and only running two DIMMs because yeah. cause speed, obviously more important. Yep. Uh, it's, it's a nice thing. After the color scheme, though, it's not as well detailed as the initial impression is. So I'm going with great success. If it if it followed through in the kind of physical details yeah. as it does with the theme, which is amazing, be don't take it apart for sure. Yeah. Great success. Okay, this is from from Josh Fowler, and. Dual loop build. Dual loop build. He's very brave with the, the 3D coolant. That rarely goes well. But he does have it running from top to bottom, which helps. From experience, that does help. Okay, really? Uh, every kind of disturbance you can put into the coolant makes Isn't a difference. Yeah. I, I actually once put it in a build where it went in the reservoir from the bottom to the top. Yeah. Worked forever. Yeah, because you were all, <laughs> always mixing it. However, the tubes are 
that the two brands are mm. 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 And, mm. and I also don't rate the case because you get a massive space at the bottom yeah. where something should be and you can put as big a radiator as you want and it's still not full and then at the top the radiators hide in the build is it push pull no it's not or maybe could be yeah could there's, be there's another 100 millimeters to EK go EK fans EK blocks everything's EK but 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 because of the tubes uh, I'm gonna say it's not much, but it's yours and and the huge huge space, huge spaces and and kind of hiding the motherboard up there for me. Not great, not terrible. Not great, not terrible. Oh, CSQ, CSQ C out here from C Lee Taylor. C CSQ. There's a small screen going on. Is this the EVGA case? No, it's not. Never mind. Never mind. Air cool GPU. Uh, Lee, we have some discounts. Buy a GPU block. Summer sale. Yeah. Sadly, there's no CSQ ones. Yeah. Because it's, it's at this point, I think it's old enough to be cool again. You must have had that block for some time. Yeah. FLT, soft tubes. Quite quite well disciplined soft tubes. It's not a mess. Yeah, it's, it's, not. it's tidy, like the top roots hidden behind the radiator. Yeah. And it's... Not much, but it's yours. Right? All right. Yeah. It's not much, much but, it's, but yours. it's yours. Okay, so this build is from Benoit Maris and interesting color scheme very interesting placement of hardware in the build he has a couple of ek brands going on product lines yeah he has the quantum bridge what? classic combo and then the most expensive gpu lock yeah he doesn't he don't need the summer sale for the gpu block that's yeah that's the guy yeah what might be nice is a vertical bracket that puts it at the oh, back yeah and then maybe there'd be more room to see those bottom fans. And he needs open it out a bit. And he needs as a new combo, definitely a, a new combo, something with a D5. I would say not not great, not terrible. Definitely some room for work. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. Not great, not terrible. Okay, so uh, here's a build from Mark, and it's a clean little build. Pretty, yeah. pretty small, right? Radiator's tucked over the board yep. quite neatly. Not wasting any space. The stuff's well spread out. The tubes could, could have another go at it. Especially the one from the GPU to the CPU. The bottom part is a bit squashed. Uh, the top tube is also not entirely 90 deg degrees, so there's room for improvement. Definitely. The concept is great. He he has it laid out well, but it needs more work. Yeah. Not great, not terrible. Just a, just a little bit more discipline. Yeah. Not great, great not, not terrible. terrible. Okay. Okay. Darth Vader, right? Nice. Almost. Nice. Yeah, this is nice. Z ZMT Club. Welcome to the ZMT Club. Done a bit of a bit of work to manage the ZMT as well as like a mid mid plate in there at least covering the front end with everything drilled through yeah pretty neatly organized nice colors magnitude going on yeah and that's the full nickel magnitude with drgb yeah that's a nice combo yeah uh he skipped the vrm cooler on the board that's the only minus score i would give him guess though it wouldn't have the parallel look then yeah yeah I know that someone will roast him for not using it. I also usually do, but I'm gonna give him a pass because this looks good. And I would say great success. Great success. Or, mm. or? Yeah, I like it. I mean, it's a different case. It's different stuff. It's not It's not boring in the context of the yeah. list we've had so yeah. far. I'm wondering where the radiators are. Because 
but not at the top. Yeah. Not at the front. Yeah. Slap outside, I guess. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a big case. You can fit some rats in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. For, for the visual. For I'll, the visual. I'll go with great success, too. Great, great success. success. All right. So this is from Frank Bennett. I love his mug. You love spreadsheets. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, vector 2 and velocity 2, two combo coming in. Yeah. Pretty strong. Yeah. Interesting inter interesting acetal and plexi though. Very interesting, yeah. I don't know. It works. It does work. Yeah. But I wonder why acetal GPU blocks don't get as much love. I'm really not decided on would he need to replace the, the CPU block. I guess he first bought the CPU block to match the board and then he just went on the Duplexi GPU block. With everyone else, because yeah. it's a hype. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. But also, if it was full acetate with pink lights on, it would also be looking good. It's it's good, but it's I, I wouldn't call it great success. I would say it's not much, but it's yours. Um... I'm there, I'm inclined yeah. to agree. Yeah. It's not much, what? but it's but yours. yours. Yep, so here we have uh, an but, old build. Ooh, it's a it, it's a blue black plate. Blue back plate, so we're which going, means we're it's... going back a long way in EK's portfolio. Seven years? Yeah. Yeah, this is from Nick Goodall, and this is what liquid cool PCs look like when I started liquid cooling PCs, and this would have been a great one. Yeah. If this was made then, and it... It's probably made then, he just sent us the photo now. Yeah, some skills there. Yeah. And, oh, he like even has the old school sleeving on the cables where you have the heat shrinks. Yeah. Pro they're probably the Corsair cables from that time. I think that's what, like, the first time anyone released sleeve cables with the power supply. Yeah. Uh, Old school Corsair case. It's a, it's CSQ. A, uh, this is a, what's the, the this socket name? 1366. He has six sticks of RAM on, on, on one side, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah? That's real nice, because we don't see that anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would, I would, if he hasn't taken it apart, I would. Don't now, it's too yeah. late. Yeah. Just leave it together now. Yeah. And, and even back then, this was. The greatest thing. This is a nice piece of history. Yeah. yeah. Great. Don't take it apart. I think that brings us to the end of our list. This is the end of the list then. Well, I I hope you enjoyed this little episode. Uh, please don't hate us. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, you know, send us worse stuff and better stuff. And, yeah. and we'll get more angry next time. Yeah. Um, uh, I, uh, I, I owe you one. Okay, you owe me one. You get yeah. one call. Yeah, I... I so I we, get... have, we have to come back, guys, so send them in. <laughs> send them in, uh, send it to our Facebook group, and also, I think we will come, come up with, with, with a hashtag so that if you want us to rate your PC so that we can find you easier, uh, having the hashtag would also mean that you have given us approval that, that we use your images in our show so that we don't 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 have to go back and forward can 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 we use your stuff and things like that um once again thank you for uh coming thank you for watching uh thanks for our main sponsor the the ek summer uh sales check out all of the nice stuff that's on massive price drops and uh make your builds better yeah, it was great fun looking at your new stuff and also looking yep. at the really old school stuff. It's nice to see UK products still serving after such a long time. It's, yeah. Still looking great. Even CSQ. Even CSQ. <laughs> Even CSQ. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye. 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 Great success. Great success. Rate my build. Great build.